Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com. This is my daily stock signals video for Tuesday the 16th of October. Every day I set up a potential trade from our Stock Scanner membership. In the members area here, on the right hand side we can see potential long fifth wave trades and potential short fifth wave trades. They are for the 60 minute, the daily and the weekly time frames. Let's have a look at the long fifth wave trades here. So in this part of the members area for today, we click on the image and download the spreadsheet. You can also go back in time and look at previous spreadsheets as well. The spreadsheet for today looks something like this. This is the daily time frame we have showing here. At the bottom of the spreadsheet, you can see the tabs for weekly and 60 minute. But I want to concentrate on the daily time frame today. We've had some good correction, deep corrections in the markets over the last week or so. Seem to have found some sort of support on Friday got some consolidation yesterday on Monday and we are looking for those moves to uh, to move back to the main trends for those bullish moves so let's have a look at a chart so I've chosen CCE on the daily time frame so this is our indicator suite our Elliott wave indicator suite for the think or swim trading platform also available on TradeStation multi charts and ninja trader as you can see here uh, CCE has been in pretty much uh, a bullish move from flat really from around May and then we've just recently had quite a big move up and then we've pulled back against it with the markets re in reality and when we're swing trading off this daily time frame these are the things we're looking at we're looking for these corrections against the main trend and then we're looking to go long in the direction of the main trend it's not rocket science so the first thing is let's talk about these main filters and these main indicators part of our indicator suite and those then that present filters for that stocks scanner results so the first thing is the waveforms pulled back against our main trend. It's found support in our automated probability zones. We are at last chance loom, but the red zone represents a 75% probability it's going to go on and make a new wave five high into our automated target zones there, about 47.50. The next is the performance of this waveform. We've got two ways of measuring that. So the first, in the middle of the two of the three sub charts at the bottom is the 535 oscillator during that wave four we've pulled back between 90 and 140 percent which is fantastic the next one the top uh, of the sub charts is our false breakout stochastic the yellow at the top here in the overbought zone denotes a strong bullish trend and when the stochastic pulls back against there and crosses over in the oversold zone we are looking for it to return to that main bullish trend. It's likely to do that. Uh, some of the things we look at from the price action um, sort of Friday and Monday is that we've increased in volume as well here. So we've got some good accumulation days in volume as we're getting those higher highs, higher lows on the um, price action and then finally part of our day trading add-on suite which is an extra suite here I'm just using part of that is our multiple time frame dot cloud now this represents um, uh, on this daily time frame here we've got the monthly at the bottom which is our key trend which is green so we are strong bullish the weekly is in green the four day is in the green the cyan uh, which is a three day uh, time frame is uh, makes we means it's in our special W5T EMA cloud on that time frame and uh, on the two day on the daily that we're in right now we are just below it but we're looking to move back there as you can see the green squares at the top here this denote uh, that we all above all of our EMA clouds on all the time frames here and now this represents the pullback on this multiple time frames as you can see here we've come down three dots and now we're going back up again so this when this continues and we get the green square we've got a great signal so we've got to set these up before that though so we've got to prepare so what, what I've done here is I put a regression trend channel down on this wave four here as you can see nice tight pull back here really really good and we want to make sure we're outside of this regression trend channel for the entry but also we use the 6-4 moving average high here the green moving average part of our wave indicator suite now what I've done is I've put a potential entry at 44.38 here long, which is for today's bar position for Tuesday is outside of the 
regression trend channel. But if we don't get that trigger through 4438 on Wednesday, we will be outside going through the 64 moving average high, which is an even more conservative entry because we've got to look at the range of the last two days. Even though this volume is increasing, the range still probably wouldn't get us in the trade today. So we are going for a reasonable conservative entry strategy here at 4438. Stop loss is always below our wave four. So let's draw that in there. So we've got a stop loss around about 42.47. So let's draw that in so you can see that, make it more clear. Okay, 42.47, very simple. Just like to uh, frame my trade. So stop loss 42.47, entry 44.38 and target with this risk reward of 1, 1.1 to 1.6 into our target zone there for around about 47.50. So great looking trade, just needs a little bit more work to come back from that wave four, uh, but we've got a good entry strategy in place for that. Okay, so that's it for today. Have a great trading day. Speech all